Hello everyone, welcome to day 228 of Project 365. You know, I've read something that really, really bothered me. Uh, apparently, at the University of Michigan, a assistant attorney general by the name of Andrew Shervel, uh had has created this uh, sort of attack site against the student body president, uh, whose name I'm whose name escapes me right now, uh, but he's openly gay, um, and apparently our lovely assistant attorney general Andrew Shervel. Uh, ha has gone about this attack blog uh, attacking his homosexuality saying that he's doing the Satan's work and that uh, he wants to diminish the rights of heterosexual students as he forwards his Nazi-like agenda for homosexuals. Uh, and what did this student body president do? Uh, all he did was request more gender-neutral bathrooms for transgendered students. Yeah, I I'm not sure what exactly is Nazi-like about that, but if someone could explain that to me, that would be lovely. Uh, and, and, and it's not only that, though. It's the fact that he's trying to defend himself with the First Amendment, saying that it's political criticism, and using the words of the president saying that we're all adults here, is justifiable enough for him to create this attack website. Now, I do understand that there are attack websites that are perfectly legal, but I don't consider this one of them because of the fact that A, it's constant use of hate speech, uh, it is only more of a detriment, and, uh, is uh, actually quite unlawful. Uh, you would figure someone who's an attorney general or assistant attorney general would sort of understand that. Uh, and then I love the irony of all of this, though, really, uh, because he apparently is an ass assistant attorney general known for uh, targeting cyber bullies. And here he is bullying some kid who simply is trying to make things more fair for uh, the GLBTQ community within his school. Uh, he's not trying to limit heterosexuals' rights uh, as he tries to quote-unquote forward homosexuals' rights. Uh, all he's trying to do is make everyone be treated equally. Uh, and the fact that this guy is not only cyberbullying him, but stalking him and making these outrageous assertions and claims that are just ridiculous. Uh, he went to go on to say that uh, the president held orgies in his dorm room and uh, was constantly drinking and partying. Uh, in fact, he even went as so far to look on the kid's Facebook to try and find things to justify his opinion. Uh, something that's personal and shouldn't be thrown around in a situation like this, not thrown up into a blog that everyone can read. If you have political criticisms, then criticize the politics. Don't attack the individual. Uh, that's a huge issue politicians have today. Uh, instead of trying to actually hold uh, an argument with merit, they instead decide to just do a mudslinging campaign, and it's really ridiculous. Uh, so if, if you're interested in reading more into the story, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the down bar and um, let you guys read it, get a chance to understand more about it. Uh, I haven't read the updated version. The version that I read was the version from this morning. Um, and so I was a little upset by it when I went to philosophy class, but I didn't really have the time to uh, really talk about it. Uh, so my question for you guys today is, do you think that this guy should be able to uphold this blog? Uh, do you think that in this case, he's fully protected by the First Amendment? Or do you think that the anti-discrimination laws in place for homosexuals uh, in particular uh well, hate speech in general, but uh, nonetheless, do you think that those laws uh, come into play here? Especially, uh, uh, well, actually, no, I can't say cyberbullying laws because the, there aren't any cyberbullying laws in Michigan, which is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know your guys' opinion. I really want to know. Um, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.